Hey, you water signs. Welcome back to another reading. I'm Kimmy, and in honor of my latest unboxing video for the 1909 original tarot deck, I wanted to do today's title on Why You're Real OG. So I've intuitively picked out for your pile an orange calcite which encourages healing and strengthening your bones and it treats the sexual organs and digestive system and promotes spiritual development uh, quickens your spiritual development so i feel like from that i feel like our water science what makes you a real og is that you got sex appeal and that you're really easy to digest now that doesn't mean that you're not mysterious it just means that people's energy around you they just feel like you're really easy to like digest like you're not like forcing stuff down upon them you're really easy to like give information and teach them bits and bits at a time not to overwhelm other people i feel like you don't overwhelm other people like you may have an intensity about you with your sex appeal and everything but you don't like overwhelm people with uh when you're teaching as well as, uh, as with the spiritual development i feel like you're uh constantly leveling up in regards to spirituality and what you're learning and the fact when you are teaching is that you are easily giving information that's easy to digest on other people so that they don't get um discouraged from learning themselves uh, you assist discovering and embracing their soul purposes and uh, boosting their awareness. But yeah, uh, it cleanses your physical body as well as your environment. I feel like some of you may have physical body uh, issues that come up every now and then, but regardless of that, you still pull through. And that's what makes you an original OG is not giving up and embracing that inner warrior to teach others. That it's okay to not be okay and you know still enjoy this world for what it is and f strive to find friends and help others so let's get into the cards guides guardians ancestors for can you guide this for magpies may be very important to you or other types of like ravens or crows um, could be uh, from England or Cornwall, uh, as Bran is from that area, the Bran the Blessed. Um, uh, Peter Pan and fairies could be uh, important to you as well. What makes you a real OG is that you got that otherworldly like connections and uh, you know, otherworldly, like, encrypted energy around you. So not only is it sex appeal, but it's also mysterious. And, you know, I feel like it's in a classy, rom like, classy, romantic way. Um, yeah, most definitely. Swagger. Swag, 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 swag. <laughs> But yeah, connected with the fairies and self fairy, uh, you're real, you're real. So you may be connected to the Archangel Uriel, um, but I want to say Earth, Earth real. Why can't I say it properly right now? Either way, uh, if you have connections with the Archangels and are divinely protected. I feel like he, uh, some of you water signs are coming into friends uh, that you've been wanting to, whether it's long distance or in person, because I had the song, why can't we be friends, why can't we be friends, so I feel like you're really uh, finding those who are willing to be friends with you and be authentic and where you have stuff in common not where 
Not that not having things in common with your friends won't work out, but it's just nice to have that extra person to like info dump with and have things that you're super into. And uh, some of you may not have had gen uh, genuine friends in the past and may have been afraid to move on. So this is a really big healing step for you. So yeah, the three, the three of swords, you're really... Uh, strong at healing your heart. I, I, I hear the Sia song, hear the Sia song, Elastic Heart, and it's like, you got an elastic heart. Your heart always bounces back, and with a thicker rubber, uh, it twang to vibrate even higher. I feel like when people are expecting you to trip up and fall, or to give up hope, you dig in and find your your root and grow even harder out of the mud instead of burying your head in the sand like an ostrich like they would want you to they're like yeah we still want to f you from behind so keep that booty in the air but you know but keep your head in the sand and don't talk up and you're like that's not me you you must have me mistaken for someone else because yeah, that's, uh, that's not something I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Second card for our water signs, please. Uh, what makes them a real OG? You're on top of your ish. People find you very balanced, and that could be that you, what makes you a real OG is that you're super balanced. You know how to balance you, the spiritual, the, the, the physical, the 3D, and uh, the 4D, and you know how to balance yourself between your feminine, divine feminine and divine masculine, your balance between yourself and your divine counterpart, if you have it, if you want it. And you, you have a balance between making your dreams come true, but also striving for new, uh, new, new uh, adventures and new things to, to dabble in. I, I also feel like you also are balanced between, you know, having your own kingdom and, and being wise, a council far away and traveling, whether that's having a stream or a uh, social media account or you actually uh, go far and wide doing seminars uh, everyone's adventure and stages of goals are different uh, yeah but definitely with this the, the sex appeal again with the the boobies out some of you may have really nice chest being male or female uh, some people just might find um you're just very attractive that's what makes you a real og um i feel like you uh whether you do a natural makeup or no makeup at all i feel like your skin care routine is really um really nice that other people are inspired by just because their makeup and like how nice it, it either way it popped out to me and that's the I'm gonna believe in my uh, self and think that that will resonate for whomever it's meant to but yeah uh, what makes you real OG is you earned your wings you've earned you've earned your wings not only have you earned your wings you've earned your stripes as well and you're making uh, a mark amongst the stars you know like in hercules and at the end he has the constellation you're making your mark on the cosmos you could be uh, looking at the sky a lot stargazing or cloud gazing for symbolisms uh, especially uh, in linguistics linguistics as well you could be um bilingual uh just because it kind of looks like egyptian 
I don't know if you can see it on the the armor there, this the skirt kilt. Uh, it looks like old rune writings. Some of you may be uh, interested in runes divination uh, or just, you know, Norse mythology as well, or you are from the area that it that lives in and that's extra confirmation for you. Working with the moon phases, I feel like right now too, just because the shoulder pads kind of remind me of the the triple moon and the many phases. <clears throat> so you may work in uh, writing down and calculating other people's uh, birth charts. Can get one more card for our <sighs> yep yep I wanted one more but two just fell out it was one 1101 on the clock and yeah divine counterpart whether that's a partnership it doesn't have to be intimate it could be familial but I really feel like you're healing yourself with natural causes with the caduceus in the middle here for healing uh, a, a leo could be important for helping guiding you through your healing it could be one of your best friends uh, that you collaborate with and and victory uh, for for healing your healing journey and I feel like since the Caduceus is always going like upwards I always feel like that's healing your vibration and moving it upwards as well as uh, your kundalini awakening as the two snake stances so I feel like you've successfully come out on the other side of maybe a, another dark night of the soul where uh, you can go through many throughout your life as you spiritually upgrade your body you could have been going through some uh, up upgrading symptoms uh, or you're learning how to heal yourself uh, from just society the all the different stuff that they have out there but yeah definitely feel like what makes you a real og is the way you conquer not only love healing partnership but also the fact that you share your victory with everyone else you make sure that everyone gets a stick just because yours is the one that's being celebrated right now like your channel or your business is the one being celebrated you want to remind everyone else and cla you clap you're a real og because you clap for other people even though you may not be in a time of clapping for yourself and you clap for yourself and you clap for others and that's what makes you a real OG. Yeah, what makes you a real OG is that you're willing to clap for others and help them. You're on top of your ish. You're coming into friendship and healing your heart. Yeah, you're a real OG because you're a healing superstar. And the best healers heal themselves first. So you on top of it. I really love that that pun. Um, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let. It, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it rip <laughs> okay um, a lot of you may be entering your silly phase and really embracing your inner child one four three the universe loves thee all right uh, that was it for y'all remember to eat hydrate and have fun and I'll see you in your next video bye